Good morning students. Today we will discuss the poem Wilbur Wright and Orville Wright. Have you seen that? I'll show you their photos. This is Wilbur Wright. Who is this? Wilbur Wright. And this is his brother Orville Wright. These two were the devoted brothers to each other. They worked together. They found the first successful airplane. This was their first aircraft. They inspired many people. Today, we will read one of the inspirational poems, Wilbur Wright and Orville Wright, written by Stephen Vincent Bennett. Wilbur and Orville Wright grew up in a small town in Ohio. Where did they grow up? They grew up in a small town called Ohio. In 1903, the Wright brothers developed the first successful airplane in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. When did they develop the first successful airplane? That was in the year 1903. And in which place? It was in Kitty Hawk. That Kitty Hawk was situated in North Carolina. Becoming national heroes overnight. When they found this first successful airplane, which other people could not do, they became the national heroes overnight. Read this poem to find out more about their shared curiosity about science and technology and how they inspired generations of inventors. Those two people were very curious about science and technology. They shared their curiosity. They worked together. Finally, they were successful. So, in this poem, we will find out about their shared curiosity about science and technology. And also, we will find out how they inspired generations of inventors. Shall we read the poem now? Said Orville Wright to Wilbur Wright, These birds are very trying. I am sick of hearing them cheep cheep about the fun of flying. A bird has feathers, it's true. That much I freely grant. But must that stop us, are you? Said Wilbur Wright. It shan't. And so they built a glider first. And then they built another. There never were two brothers more devoted to each other. They ran a dusty little shop for bicycle repairing. And bought each other soda pop and praised each other's daring. They glided here, they glided there. They sometimes skinned their noses. For learning how to rule the air was not a bed of roses. But each would murmur afterward while patching up his bro. Are we discouraged, W? Of course we are not, W. O. And finally, at Kitty Hawk in 1903, let's cheer it. The first real airplane really flew with Orville there to steer it. And kingdoms may forget the kings. And dogs forget their bites, but not till man forgets his wings will men forget the rights. We will read the first paragraph now and understand. Said Orville Wright to Wilbur Wright. Who said to whom? Orville Wright to Wilbur Wright. So brothers were speaking. There was a conversation between Orville Wright and Wilbur Wright. So there was a conversation between whom? Between brothers. Right, brothers. What was the conversation? Orville Wright said, These birds are very trying. I am sick of hearing them cheep cheep about the fun of flying. Birds were flying there. They were having fun there. Because of the fun, they were making a sound cheep cheep. Orville Wright was observing the birds flying there. But he said he was sick of hearing them cheep cheep. Why was he sick? Because they were having fun. They were flying there. They were trying to fly in the sky. But these brothers could not fly there. 
so he was jealous what he was he was jealous or you can say he was envious of those birds for that reason he made the statement he was sick of hearing them cheep cheep he could not see those birds he could not hear that sound he continued the statement a bird has feathers it's true that much i freely grant he knew that bird had feathers so that bird flew there so he said he accepted that bird had feathers and he also freely accept that i freely grant means i freely accept i freely agree that but next question but must it stop as w he was asking w they didn't have feathers so could that stop them from flying it was very clear that orville wright was thinking about flying he saw the birds and he was watching how do how did those birds fly and he wanted to fly there for that reason he asked his brother children you just imagine if you were there in that position if he had asked you this question without feathers could we stop flying what would have been your answers many might have said no right at that time because now we know nothing is impossible many people have invented many impossible things but earlier without the training they have done i already mentioned once they didn't study more they stopped in their high school they started to work in a printing press they worked for many years there after that they opened their own bicycle shop they were repairing the bicycles first and then they started to manufacture their own bicycles without any training you should not forget it so those people were very hard working they were innovative creative they tried by themselves and after that they started making gliders they worked for many years to find out the first aircraft they were successful so you just see here what was the answer of wilbur wright said wilbur wright it shan't so wilbur wright also said it shouldn't stop them and so they built a glider so they had confidence with that confidence they built a glider what do you mean by glider glider is also an aircraft glider is also an aircraft but without an engine what is a glider glider is an aircraft without an engine so they first built one glider then they built another they didn't stop for one there never were two brothers more devoted to each other these two brothers were devoted to each other they cheered each other they worked together they didn't fight so they are saying there never were two brothers we could not see any other brothers as those people do you remember i had said one more thing when they were small their father had brought them one glider they were very happy they observed that glider and now they observed the birds also so and they started making that glider so they had more curiosity they wanted to do some things by themselves we'll see the next paragraph now they ran a dusty little shop for bicycle repairing so they ran a dusty little shop they had a little shop they had a little shop and it was dusty dusty means it was covered with dust it was a little shop and it was covered with dust and that shop was 
for bicycle repairing they repaired the bicycles afterwards they manufactured their own bicycles they tried many things there in that shop and bought each other soda pop what was that soda pop soda pop was a sweet fizzy drink what was it it was a sweet fizzy drink why did they bring this they brought this to celebrate they repaired the bicycles they were trying by themselves so they praised each other's daring to praise each other's daring they brought soda pop soda pop was a sweet fizzy drink means it was a drink with bubbles it was made with soda water fruit flavor and sometimes ice cream so they enjoyed that drink they praised each other's daring next line they sometimes skinned their noses skinned means to rub the skin off part of your body by accident but here the meaning is different what's the meaning here they sometimes skinned their noses here means they failed sometimes they saw some failures but they took those failures as the stepping stones for success we need to learn to convert failures to success many people want to achieve in their life but only few people can achieve and few people cannot what's the difference between the achievers and the people who failed there is only one difference people who achieved believed themselves they were not discouraged by their failures they considered every failure as an experience they learned from them and they tried hard to reach their success but people who failed they might have left when they faced a failure at the beginning or after few failures i'll give you an example actually one of my friends she wanted to clear ugc exam she wrote that exam many times but she could not clear that exam then finally she decided to quit taking that exam actually she was preparing well for that exam for many years but she could not do it finally when she took the decision one more friend of mine advised her just to go and write once because she had already paid the fee okay she just went and she wrote but the surprising for her was she had cleared that exam she never expected in her life and she had thought that was the last attempt of her many times this happens in life many people try many times but when only one step would be there for the success at that time they quit so whenever you want to achieve in your life never leave there would be failures face those failures when you quit there might be only one more step for the success don't forget it this is the real experience i said and there are many more experiences of many people like this wilbur right and orville right didn't get success at the first step they tried they have worked hard they failed many times and finally they got the success and now we cannot forget their names for learning how to rule the air was not a bed of roses for learning how to rule the air means how to fly in the sky was not a bed of roses what is this bed of roses a bed of roses is an idiom it means it was not a easy journey for them 
not a easy journey or not a easy task it was not at all an easy task for them why it was not easy because they had to face some failures they didn't have any training they didn't study more they had to try by themselves obviously they had to face some failures they started reading newspapers which were publishing on aviation they studied a lot they tried and they became successful so next line we'll see but each would murmur afterward while patching up his bro each would murmur afterward after the failures each would murmur between themselves what were they murmuring and why were they murmuring they were murmuring to patch up they wanted to cheer each other so they were asking these questions are we discouraged w what do you mean by w W means will be right. O means or will right. So those two brothers were asking the questions between them. They were not at all discouraged. Those failures failed to discourage them. So they had still confidence in them. They wanted to achieve. They never gave up. We also should learn this never give up attitude.